All right, we started by taking out this down tube. We just cut that out of there. And then we, we bent up our own down tubes, welded them here, have a cross brace, and then welded them back there. So now we have space for the engine to go inside. And with these 20 inch tires, they're 20 by four inch, 20 inch rims. The bike sits a lot lower. So we're gonna uh, cut the kickstand, shorten it so we can use a kickstand. And this was a 26 inch bike, fat bike. We, we bought it just for the, the rims. The rims went on that bike up there. And ever since then, this bike has just been sitting collecting dust. So backing up a little bit, we cut out that down tube and we mocked up a 79cc engine to kind of see what kind of space we needed inside the frame area there. And so once we determined the space we needed, we bent up these new down tubes and mocked them up and put those new down tubes in the frame to create more space for the engine. It actually gave the bike a pretty nice look and it gave us a space that we needed to put an engine inside there. So here we have our 79cc engine kind of sitting in the new down tubes. That's a 196cc engine. We're just curious if that would fit in the future if we decided to put a, a larger engine in this frame. So it does fit if we needed to do that. And then once we determined that everything fit, we went ahead and finished welded the down tubes. And you can see we have a little bit of the factory down tubes still sticking out there. And that's what we welded our new down tubes to. And our 79cc engine is sitting on a go-kart mount. This is the beginning of a jack shaft. We're going to use a jack shaft brake. We have a little idler sprocket. And there's a piece of angle that's notched for the seat tube with uh, bearing hangers welded to it. And that's going to create our uh, jack shaft system that we need for this bike. We decided to use the factory brakes from the Dolomite. They're cable operated brakes. This is the rear caliper that we're moving to the jack shaft. And we had to make a, a caliper bracket to hold that caliper for the jack shaft brake. But these work really well. We use these on pretty much all of our motorized bicycles. The jack shaft brake is a pretty strong brake. It's a very convenient way to get a, a rear brake on the motorized bike. This is going to be a bracket for the rear idler sprocket so that we can adjust the tension on the rear chain. And we're going to set up a wide crank set on this bike. And we decided to go ahead and, and uh, open up the ID of the bottom bracket so we can press our bearings in. Once we get bearings pressed in there, then we can use our wide crank setup. Uh, to clear the engine so that the pedals clear the engine. We're kind of jumping forward here. That's a two-speed jack shaft. And we're using the idler sprocket for one of the chains. When you have two chains like that, it's kind of hard to get them both tensioned properly. So the idler sprocket was really, really convenient for getting both chains tensioned. And that gold thing right there is an oil cooler. We see triple digits at the track, so we needed an oil cooler. That's the big bore. Uh, piston compared to the stock 79 cc piston our big bore engine is 105 cc's we cut our own valves we um, decided to go with big valves on this engine and uh, the oil cooler as I mentioned earlier sometimes the, the temperatures of the track are a hundred plus degrees and for an air-cooled engine that's that's quite warm so we set up this oil cooler to draw oil from the back of the engine block and the oil comes down through the pump in through the oil cooler and the cooler oil is is uh, replaced in the front of the block so here we have a pretty much complete bike the motor is mounted this is our wide crank set we're using bicycle chain and uh, a bicycle idler for the chain tension Twenty-two millimeter carburetor, big valves, high compression, billet flywheel, big bore, 
we're using attack to monitor RPM. At the track we ended up spinning 7680 RPM was our max RPM. There's our two speed jack shaft setup. Custom exhaust. Pretty happy with the way the bike turned out. It has a pretty low center of gravity. Small, compact. Those 20 inch tires bring everything down as far as the center of gravity is concerned and we have the slick tires for traction and here if you listen closely you can hear the two-speed shift we have it set up to shift at 5850 rpm that shift point is based on the setup of the second gear clutch so you can manip manipulate the shift point based on the weights and the spring that you put in that second gear clutch. So we took it to the, cr the track. Number 82 is a 212cc bike. So we're really proud that we were able to hang with that 212cc bike. Even though he was a rookie rider new to the track. But even still, you know, those 212cc motors make a ton of torque. But with our big bore 79cc engine and our two-speed jack shaft, uh, we were able to mix it up with him, which is really exciting. And unfortunately, there were no other 79cc bikes at the track, so we couldn't compare ourselves to other 79cc bikes. But overall, we were really happy with the results.